Okay, stop. Maybe you've been watching my videos for some time now, and you're learning something new. But you know what? Watching my videos, that's not gonna make you successful. That alone, maybe you find it entertaining, you find it transformational, you find it informative, but that alone is not enough. What makes you successful is taking what I teach you and implementing. I don't want you to just watch my videos and learn from me and not take any action. Is you need to take that knowledge, what you've learned from me, and implement. And one of the things that holds you back, my guess is you're afraid of success. And today we're going to talk about that: how to overcome the fear of success. So let me ask you a question: Are you afraid of success? You see, most people are not successful. There are many, many fears that hold them back, and a lot of people they think is fear of failure. That I don't want to fail. What if it doesn't work? What if it works a little bit and then and then it stops working? Then I look really stupid. It's the that fear of failure that paralyzes people, and they don't take action. That's very, very common. But another thing that I notice is this. That it's not just the fear of failure, but the fear of success that holds people back. They're afraid of success. They're afraid of the unknown. Let me give you some example. See if you experience any of these things. You're making some money. You are experiencing some success, but your business or your income is always like a roller coaster. You make a bunch of money, and somehow something just happens, and you lose that money. It could be some deal that you make, some investment that you do, and you lose that money. And you make some money and lose money, and you make money, lose money. You never could really hold on to that money that you make, and you don't know why. And you say to yourself, you know what? That's just the way the business is. It's the it's the business cycle. It's just the way that it is. Or maybe you are doing something in your business. You're doing something in your life, and It starts going well. It starts working, and then you stop for no reason at all. Something that's working, maybe it's a marketing campaign that's working, that's bringing you clients, that's bringing you customers. For no reason whatsoever, you just stop. You stop running those ads. I don't know why, but you just stop. Or maybe you always have to struggle. That you feel like you know what? If I'm not struggling, then my accomplishment. It cannot be worthwhile because I always have to struggle, or you always wait for something to be perfect. Is that you? That you're always waiting. I need everything to be perfect, to perfectly align. Then I will take action. Then I will take action. Or when it and when it's just 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 starts to get good, just starts to get good, and you do some stupid shit to sabotage the whole thing. And that's the pattern again and again and again. If you have some of these symptoms, then chances are. You're afraid of success, and it's very easy to tell because usually, if you are, you have fears of success, chances are you have self-sabotage behaviors. That when something works, don't know how, you just fuck it up. It's like relationship. Hey, it just it just starts getting good, start getting serious, you fuck it up. Business things are working well, money are coming in. Somehow you do some stupid shit, you just fuck it up. That's fear of success. Why are people afraid of of success? Because it's the unknown. You see, people know they know how to struggle. They know what it's like to struggle because they've been struggling their whole lives. They know what it's like to live paycheck to paycheck. They know what it's like to to not be able to to pay the bills. In some way, they are almost addicted to their ups and downs because to them, when it goes up, and I know it makes no fucking sense. It's not logical. Listen to me. When they go through their ups and downs, that when it when things turn into shit, they make it happen. They are like being forced back back to the wall. They make shit happen. It gives them a little bit of self that sense of self worth, a little bit of accomplishment. That's why they're addicted to the adrenaline of solving problems, the stress. Oh come on, Dan. It cannot be it. People, that's crazy. It makes no sense. I know it sounds like it doesn't make sense, but most people, they're actually addicted. Listen to me. They're addicted to the struggles. They're addicted to the struggles because that's how they get attention. 
That's how they get significance. That's how they can play that victims. Oh man, poor me, it's always me. Shit happens to me, look at me, right? I'm sure, think about people in your life. How many of them are addicted to struggles? Clearly, there's a better path. Clearly, they could do better. Clearly, they could improve themselves. Clearly, they could do, but they don't. You can see, it just, you just do this, everything will be fine. No, they just don't. Because they're addicted to struggles. I'll give you a, a very good example. A friend of mine, who I've known for more than 10 years now, and he's just a, a typical employee, and he works in a company, and he's struggling, and the company's going down, it's going to go bankrupt very soon. And I've known him for 10 years. Now, with my connections, I could easily find him another better job, and I've done that. And I've done, hey, you know what? Just, just go here. I'll give you the recommendation. From Dan Locke, you'll, you'll get a better job right there. He never, never pursued that. Even if he was, he was going to interview and stuff, he would somehow subconsciously fuck up the interview. He would, he would, he would say this, the dumbest thing. He would say something to piss off the, whoever is the, the person that's interviewing them. And at first, I was trying to help him and I realized, wow, actually, this friend of mine, it's kind of sad, but he's addicted to his struggles. He actually doesn't, he's so afraid because low self-esteem. And self-esteem is the foundation of all success. And I'm not talking about arrogance. I'm not talking about ego. I'm talking about your self-esteem. His self-esteem is so low. He doesn't even believe he deserves the good life. He doesn't believe that he deserves to be better. He doesn't believe that he could provide better future for his family. It's kind of sad. That's why he's addicted to his struggles. And he would, and I've tried to help him multiple times. And I've given up because he's addicted to his struggles. So if you have these symptoms and you're afraid of success, and you gotta ask yourself deep down, am I, is, is, is it the fear of failure that's holding me back? Or is it truly the fear of success? I'm afraid if, it, if this goes well, if this if it's gonna change who I am, it's going to, people are not gonna like me anymore. Or how would my friends think of me? How would my parents think of me? How the people around, around me think of me, or once I become successful, I'll get more fucking haters like Dan, right, on YouTube, or people who criticize me, or whatever it is. That's what's stopping you. Not that you don't know what to do, but that fear, that fear just stops you. And the best way to overcome the fear of success, I believe, is to get comfortable with success. Is to get comfortable with success. How do you get comfortable with success? You only become comfortable with success when you believe this is something, it's part of who you are, it's your identity. So what I do is, that's why I tell people, dress for success. Get a fucking suit, look better. When you look yourself in the mirror, it's not about the suit. It's about when you wear the suit, how do you feel, right? When you dress a suit, how do you feel? Do you feel better about yourself? That image, and you start, and you start seeing yourself in a different way. And you know what? This is the way that I dress. I think I was watching a, a Facebook video a while ago, and I saw about this 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 man going to these these neighborhoods, kind of rough neighborhoods, and he's giving out these free suits to like tailor suits, free suits to these to these kids who in a, in a neighborhood where there will be like, there will be drugs, there will be like, you know, crimes and all this stuff and helps them develop their self-image. Suddenly you can see the kids, when they, teenagers, when they wear these suits, they feel better, they act differently. They're more polite. Why? Because they're shifting their identity. Oh, maybe, you know what? I, maybe I, I'm not a gangster. Maybe I am a successful person. Maybe I am a good student. It's not the suit, it's how you see yourself. That's a very powerful way to overcome success. So you gotta just ask yourself, what are some of the ways that you can be more comfortable with success? Maybe it starts with a suit, it's just an example. But there are many, many things that you can do. Maybe in future videos, I'll talk about more of that, how you get more comfortable with success. If you want me to talk about it, comment below and let me know. And I'll give you some strategies on, on some practical ideas on, on how do you get more comfortable. If there is enough people asking that, I'll make a future video based on that. And also hit the subscribe button if this is the first time you watch my video. My name is Dan Locke.
D-A-N-L-O-K. Make sure you watch my other videos. We've got a lot of videos. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below. I think you get a lot of value from what I do. And make sure check out check out my playlist on this side. On this side. This is what I do on my way to work, on my way to meeting. I turn the camera, I take the best questions from YouTube, and I answer it in my Bentley. Until next time, I'll see you in my Bentley.